What's going on my tech friends? This is the one tech bus. So today guys we're going to be talking about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. We're going to be doing a little review, like a little one year review kind of video because obviously I've been using the phone for a year now, waiting for the new and latest update for Samsung with the Samsung Galaxy S20 One lineup. But yeah, um, we've been talking a lot about that phone and we're kind of forgetting about the phone that we still have in existence and Samsung actually has and brought out for us to use from last year which is the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra well the S20 lineup but mainly mostly on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra because that's the one I use but yeah we're going to be doing a year's review on this bad boy and yeah you want to stick around for this one because there's a lot of things I have to say about this device but before we start the video I just want to say thank you so much for everyone who's been supporting the channel Big shout out to you guys, the guys that have been liking, subscribing, turning the post notifications on, also even commenting down below. I actually, I absolutely appreciate that. It's, it's absolutely awesome. It's, it's, it feels that I'm actually giving people things and actually, actually kind of speaking and people are actually listening to me. It, it just kind of feels really nice. And also, if you guys are new to the channel and you're watching this video, what are you doing with yourself? Smack that like button. I mean, and also smack that subscribe button as well and turn on the post notification because, yeah, this video in this channel, we upload every single day about tech. We talk about tech, we unbox tech, and also we we, we talk about tech from, from now to six months that's coming out or a year that's coming out or next year or whatever, just mainly all about tech we do on this channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's get it. Let's kick it straight into the video. So the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Mm. What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Um, when this device came out, everyone was absolutely hyped, hyped, including me myself. Last two years, 2019, when they when they were talking about this phone and this phone was actually in the works. We were so excited, especially the leaks and the rumors and everything. I did a video all about this phone when before it even came out, like I am with the Samsung Galaxy S21 series or lineup before it comes out. Yeah, we heard that 108 megapixel camera and we were like, wow. We were so we were so hyped. Everyone, every tech enthusiast was so hyped because it's a it's it's numbers, it's it's megapixel numbers. Or count that we've never never heard of especially on a device I mean even cameras actual physical cameras don't even have this amount of size this amount size pixels and for a phone to have this amount size of pixels we were like whoa like wow we we're like okay I'm listening I have my you have my whole attention please so yeah um so we we were so hyped. So I thought, you know what, 108 megapixels. I, I need I need to grab this phone. I need this phone. I need to get this phone, which I did. But to be honest with you, a year later, it's a little bit of a disappointment. It's not as hyped up as I thought it was gonna be. Obviously, 108 megapixels is a lot of pixels there, and also it's it's. You'd, you'd think the camera would be absolutely awesome, it would be a beast, but honestly guys, this camera is just not a beast at all. For for you to be able to to get that whole 108 megapixel quality from this, pic, from this camera uh, on this phone, there's a few shapes, a few, a, few, a few things that you can actually take a picture of and get the most out of this camera because it's it's not everything you take a picture of. For example, if you're holding a subject in your hand and it's one complete subject and you have a focal, a far focal, and you're using this device to take a picture. So you have one object in your hand and you're taking a picture. You're taking a picture like this with, your, with the background far away. It takes a picture, get cap, captures the, the, the whatever is in your the, the subject and blows out the background beautifully. But when you have two subjects in your hand and you're holding two subjects in your hand and you're taking a picture, it focus hunts really, really badly. And I mean really, really badly. It's focus hunting on the background, it's focus hunting on both of the pair of, of, of whatever you have in your hands you're taking a picture of. 
is trying to focus on one piece, is trying to focus on the second piece, and also is trying to blur out the background as well. And what you actually find out is that is that an area of one of the subject is is foc in focus, but then surrounding it and the second thing in your hand and uh, that you want to put in focus actually is not in focus at all. So yeah, it's it's kind of a tricky situation with the Samsung Galaxy S21s. Um, I mean S20 Ultra, 108 megapixel camera. It's just it's just it's just a confusing one because this, they've said there's going to be updates, things like that, and there's, there's still not. There's been updates, but nothing really to fix this camera situation or camera problem at all. But yeah, I mean, it is what it is, isn't it? Changing chop topic from the Samsung Galaxy S21's camera, we move on to the usability of the phone. The usability on the phone is just absolutely awesome. The whole design of the phone is just beautiful. I mean, looking at the Note series which came out last year as well versus the S20 lineup I mean the Note series look way better but I mean for the time this came out it still looks pretty damn good I mean the camera module I mean what they did with that camera module is just absolutely awesome I know it's not the best camera out there but what they've done with the camera module is just awesome the colors as well and the the build of the phone is just absolutely awesome it looks so beautiful to the eye and yeah the way they've, they've designed the phone just gives it a lot of character and just gives it a lot of like of oomph to it like you see this in the showroom or in your in a phone shop you'd be like wow that's a sexy ass phone but yeah that's the main structure of the phone the display is just absolutely awesome and um, it's it's just absolutely beautiful especially when you're in direct sunlight it performs really really good there's a lot of devices a lot of phones out there that when you take it out into the sunlight when it's sunny you can hardly see the screen but with this it literally is so good because of the brightness of the screen you can turn it really really high and you can still see in the sun when you're using this device and it's really really nice nice very is a really nice experience with this device you can even turn it down as well because what I've noticed as well is some phones, if, when you turn the brightness all the way down, say it's in, the, it's in the night and you don't, and you're like half asleep and you don't really want a lot of light, you can actually turn down the brightness low. And the lowest point on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra is really, really low. It literally is like there's no more light on the device at all. But yeah, it's awesome. It's good in the in the night when you don't want a lot of or a lot of brightness, and it's also good for brightness in the daytime when you're in when you need the phone to be at its top peak brightness. Also, talking about the display, this display is just absolutely wonderful, absolutely beautiful display. It's it's very sharp, it's very responsive as well. And don't forget that 120 um, 20 hertz refresh rate as well there as well, which is just absolutely awesome. But obviously you have to turn the, the resolution of the device down to Ultra HD instead of um, um, quad HD to get that feed that 120 Hertz feature but obviously I don't really use the 120 20 Hertz feature I mean it's noticeable but it's not that noticeable it's not like you can't survive without it but yeah I turn it all the way up using the screen to its full c capacity because yeah I'm a I'm a consumer not a half consumer of devices but yeah absolutely awesome also the the one one thing as well that I really liked about the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra as well is the button placement. Obviously, if you guys don't remember with the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, which I had before this, the finger placement was just bad, especially the lock button. Literally, this is me holding my phone and this is where my thumb lands. With the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus, the lock button is like all the way up here. So you kind of have to like stretch first to unlock your phone and then come down to a normal position to operate your phone but this one it just lands right there at the lock button boom lock and then to volume up and down is literally just a nice little slide do your volume up and down and then that's it and also just to mention there's no big speed button which is absolutely awesome it's a big big thing from the samsung galaxy s8 plus all the way to the s10 plus and we really did not like that so they removed it for us for the samsung galaxy s20 ultra which yeah was very good i think that's the that's the reason why a lot of people actually went to pick this phone up because of this feature but yeah 
Phone is awesome. Speakers and this is absolutely awesome. It's got the the Atmos, um, the Dolby Atmos built in as well, so it's just absolutely awesome. I mean, I can't fold this phone at all, just only on the camera. That's it. The phone is absolutely beautiful, but when it comes to the camera, it's not very good. But yeah, for my question that is in my title of my video, would I upgrade? I mean, I'm gonna have to wait and see. The Samsung Galaxy S21 is coming out. I'm gonna be picking up the S21 Ultra. But yeah, we're just gonna have to see how it goes. But yeah, I'll answer that video. I mean, that question in another video. Anyway, guys, like I said, if you've enjoyed the video, please don't forget to smash that like button. Also, subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace.